Actually, we uh, as an institution have been working on climate compatible project for more than 12 years now. So of course, we already have a lot of projects under implementation, which are already being financed uh, by uh, both local and international sources. On an ongoing basis, of course, we have a number of projects in the pipeline, particularly in areas uh, of different renewable energy technologies where more funding would be required. So, uh, first of all, we do as an institution have certain objectives, which is even if uh, we work with climate uh, related projects, we would like to work in this project in such a manner which becomes sustainable over the years. So, the way what we are doing, uh, we are of course developing the initial concept of the project, identifying what are the bottlenecks for private sector to be involved in this project and trying to work around that what incentives uh, both in the form of say, subsidy or concession loan or even if just technical assistance is required for private sector to, uh, to, to be attracted to come and invest in those projects. Initially it was mostly external resources, primarily the credit lines from various development partners. Just to name a few, for example the World Bank, Asian Development Bank, uh, JICA, Islamic Development Bank, they are the, our main credit line providers. Over the years, since I have already mentioned that we have been working in this sector for more than 12 years now, a significant, significant amount of in, internal fund has also been accumulated, we are, which we are now reinvesting. I think it's still about 80% would be external finance, it's about 20% from internal finance.